So this little Hitachi is just a badass. Look at that resaw blade. Very thin. I think this is like 20 thou. Satellite tipped. Uh, so you'll never lay your set down. Uh, this is my uh, spring-loaded feeder. You see I've just got lines, so you just pivot it off that, and you just keep bringing it in. That keeps it against. We This does hold a power feeder, but for oak, uh, oak's a little hard to, to deal with. The, the Wadkin does a good job of resawing, but the blade speed on the Wadkin is just a little too fast, and that's a 600-volt machine. Now, this didn't come from Japan this way. Jack did a little bit of jackification. Amco bronze bearings. These were Micarta before I redid those. They run right against the blade and can run really cool. There's no rubber on these tires. These are still running. You hang your teeth over the outside. Renew, re-bearing packed. Now, Atashi's had these little 110 screamer motors. Well, we replaced that with a five horsepower three phase, pulled it down, and uh, I should get a cover on that. And, uh, you know, a solid machine made the re remade a mechanism to hang it. And then we're running it off one of my VFDs so we can get our blade speed to anything we want. She's brilliant here. I'll, I think we're plugged. Yeah, so now uh, I, I got to do a few more things. So we're at 60 hertz. Very noisy because it's steel on steel. But we can, depending on the wood species, we can, uh, we can slow it down. What's great for tracking these three-inch wheels is we can run everything slow. Way easier to track, right? Great if you've never familiar with these these are great little babies so 60 Hertz that's the speed it's supposed to run at haven't really experimented with it yet but it's pretty amazing anyway thought you'd like the little tiny Japanese resaw